my honor and pleasure to be here. Again, I haven't been to India in a couple of years, so it's, it's very nice to be back. Uh, many of you may know Hexagon, and uh, we're a global company, but um, I must say we have a very strong presence in India, reflected uh, only recently with the, uh, the opening of a new uh, office building in Hyderabad. We just opened a, a brand new building to, uh, to house our over 1,200 employees where we do not only research and development, but a lot of um, solution development for the geospatial industry, both in India, but also across the region and also reaching into um, other markets globally. So it's, it's very nice to be here today. My talk for today is, is the map of the future, and it's really a play on words where we've taken the idea of a map, but given the, um, the progression of the industry as we look towards the adoption of cloud technology and the, the development of very purpose-built light applications, Hexagon is charting a new course. And I ask you for the next 20 to 30 minutes to uh, join me on a journey as I explain our vision, our, our strategy, and also lead you through um, what we're doing. So hopefully, hopefully this will make sense and, and you can walk away with a better understanding of what our goal and vision is as we move towards smart geospatial enterprises. We all know that the many databases of, of spatial and geospatial information we have today really started with what we call as the, the, the paper map generation or this whole economy associated with producing paper maps that involved the, the capture of data, that involved the, uh, the production of maps and the compilation of all the different information that goes into a map. And there was an entire economy that was built around, around this, this paper map uh, generation. If we look towards the establishment of the map of the future, we could then see a very nice progression to the next generation, which was that digital map where um, we may have taken paper maps, digitized them, um, did the various raster to vector conversions and populated databases and geodatabases of features and, and associated attribution and so forth. But we ultimately ended up with, in a digital mapping age where we, we saw also the introduction of new players into the market, non-traditional players such as Google, Microsoft, and others who, who sort of helped spur on this, this, new, this new generation of mapping. But as Hexagon looks at not only today, but the future and how we can help shape change, um, we have to ask ourselves, what is the map of the future and where will the industry, where will the industry go? And there's no better way to understand where you're going by, by starting by looking at where you've, where you've come from. So really understanding you know, the paper map generation and the digital map generation. But even if we move beyond that, and we ask ourselves, what, what is it about mapping that, that drives the industry? It's really the information that you can get from, from maps. I want you to sort of walk through this, this very short video clip with me, which, which will start with how communicating information was very critical and vital to society and how mapping now has to take on the role and responsibility of being able to deliver information and communicate information with a new form. And, and let's, let's have a look at this, this, this movie right here. If we look at history, there was a time when we had no maps, where people would typically communicate uh, in villages or um, amongst, amongst friends and family through the spoken word. And communicating information was done primarily using this mechanism and so forth. But as, as society developed, as, as uh, countries started developing, we saw mapping sort of take, take a hold in, in the world, and people started uh, using maps to help navigate new, new courses, help navigate towards new lands, help navigate towards new, new discoveries. And that really changed the shape of the world. And if we see the extension of that, we then started uh, the paper map generation, and a whole new generation of form givers were created. A form giver is that type of individual or archetype of individual that ultimately makes sense of a, a, given, um, of a given situation by providing form. And we within the geospatial industry, we know that we provide form by producing maps. 
That's how we are form givers. And if we see the progression of how we provide form, once again, we look at paper maps through to digital mapping, through to the immersion of 3D visualization technologies with time, with five-dimensional integration of non-geospatial content associated with the given location. All of this is sort of coming at the right time where we now see a convergence of a whole host of, of technologies from content to analytics through to the delivery of this information. And we at Hexagon are now looking at how do we now, not today, but in the future, if we look ahead, how do we define and help build the map of the future? But once again, if we look at maps today, what are they? They're static. They only provide data. They don't necessarily communicate answers. And they're really a reflection of what was. So the time of collecting data to producing a map, there's quite a bit of time that it takes to produce that data and ultimately deliver it. And, and once you've produced the map, it's already old. And once again, these maps don't necessarily communicate information. They're just communicating location. And I think if we look towards the future, we have to look at something that ultimately communicates information. At Hexagon, we believe the map of the future needs to be fresh, which means that it has to reflect reality. It has to reflect what's on the Earth's surface. It has to be able to provide answers. It must be portable. You must be able to take it with you where you go on the job and connect to it and get fresh updates to it. It ultimately has to make sense, depending on who the user of that map is. And I must say, the map of the future is not actually a map. At Hexagon, we believe the map of the future is much more than a map, and that's what my presentation is all about today. We believe the map of the future is really an information experience, but more importantly, a dynamic information experience of what? It's a dynamic information experience of what was, so we have that historical perspective. It's a dynamic information experience of what is, so we, we've mapped what was. With new technology, we could understand what is. But I think more importantly in looking ahead, the map of the future is also an experience of what can be when we start getting into sort of predictive modeling, geospatial analysis, and so forth. And lastly, and I think the most important, is what should be. And if you look at Hexagon as a whole, our whole goal is to shape change and, and really minimize that chasm between what was, what is, and ultimately what should be. And we believe the technology is now ripe enough from sensor technology through to content uh, availability, through to software technologies, through to IT technologies, sort of all coming together. It's the perfect time to be in this industry because we now have the ability to understand what was, what is, what can be, and once again, most importantly, what should be. And we believe this can all sort of come together as what we're now referring to as a smart map. So once again, it's a play on words, but a smart map is a dynamic information experience that someone can connect to that's dynamic and that provides answers. And over the last two years, my team and I have been working on a new platform that will enable the geospatial industry and beyond to produce very smart maps that are dynamic information experiences and delivered as subscriptions, something you connect to and something that ultimately provides answers. Okay, so by the end of this year, we will have top 20 finalists and 20 new information services that will be made available on the map exchange and so forth. In India, we are also hosting Ignite sessions. Okay, and if you want to know more about this program, I would urge you to go to herox.com forward slash Ignite. Here you can register as an innovator and begin the process associated with learning the map portfolio and submitting your ideas and concepts associated with building a smart map. You will also see a listing of all the events that we will be hosting not only in India but also globally as well. On that note, I would like to invite you to be part of this new changing paradigm with respect to the geospatial industry. It's ultimately for you to build your own smart map to define your own experience in order to change the geospatial industry. And I urge you to join Hexagon 
as we not only look to the past, but more importantly, look to the future as we build the map of the future. Thank you very much.